So now we're going to go over the mixing process of, in this case, Street Bomb 150, but the mixing process is the same for any of our waterborne materials, whether that is Street Bomb 150, Street Bomb 150 Airless, Street Bomb 120, or DuraShield. The mixing process is going to be exactly the same for all of these products. What you have here is you have, in this case, a three component system. You've got your part A, which is a short filled five gallon bucket of base material. To that, you're going to add your part B, which is your catalyst, your hardener with epoxy resin. When you're using Street Bomb 150 and 120, you also must add colorant. When you're using DuraShield, it's already pre-tinted. With 150 and 120, you do add a pint of colorant. And then the last thing that you're going to add while you're mixing the product is one quart container full of clean water. So we've got all the products, we've got all the stuff that we need. I've got my drill mixer. Again, we're gonna use a low speed mix on a corded 20 volt drill. And you can see I've switched to a larger mixing blade because of the higher viscosity of this material. You'll see that it is a lot thicker than a basic latex paint and certainly a lot thicker than the product that we were working with before. So we're gonna begin our mixing process here for a kit of Street Bond 150. I'm gonna open up all of my containers first. So I've got the colorant, the part B, and I've got the part A. Give everything a little shake just to make sure it's dispersed properly. My colorant is open. Since there's no colorant already in the part A, it's not necessary to mix it on its own. You uh, can just go ahead and add the different components to it and then mix it all together. So I'm gonna dump in my part B. I'm gonna dump in my colorant. And then I'm gonna use the quart container to add one quart of clean water. The general idea with any of the waterborne products is you're adding about a quart of water. The guidelines may change on that depending on temperature and the actual product that you're using. So the best thing to do is consult the TDS technical data sheet and it will tell you exactly how much water to add in any condition. So I'm gonna add my water. And I'm gonna start my mixer. We want to mix this product thoroughly for five minutes. You want to make sure that the colorant is completely incorporated with the part A. You want to make sure that the water is completely incorporated. So you can see now the water is starting to go in it. At about the halfway point in the mixing process, I like to reverse the direction of the drill just so that I can create some motion going the other way. I think that that mixes the product better. Okay, our product has been thoroughly mixed. The color is even, there's no white stuff swirling around anywhere, so I know that it's mixed. We timed it for a total of five minutes, so we're good to go.